Welcome back to Miss Meryl Makes. I'm Miss Meryl, and today I'm going to teach you how to draw some amazing beetles. 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 That's right, beetles. Now, before you get carried away thinking that beetles might be creepy or crawly, I actually want you to realize that beetles can be really beautiful. If you ever look at one up close in a photograph or under a microscope, you can see that beetles have lots of amazing colors and designs on them. And they also, a lot of them, have something in art that we call symmetry. So symmetry in art is if we were to draw an imaginary line down the middle of something and it appears the same on both sides. So if I were to draw a, an imaginary line down this beetle, I could see that it has an orange polka dotted wing on each side and a red one as well, both in the same places. It's kind of like if I were to fold the paper in half and each side were a mirror image of each other. So I will be teaching you how to do that today during our demonstration, and I'll be showing you how to do all of these different choices as well. So I'll show how to do these different uh, body styles, head, different leg, wing, and pattern details to decorate your beetle. If you want to pair this lesson with a children's book, one that I really like is called Beetle Bop by Denise Fleming. And this is a rhyming book, and in it you can find some really beautiful illustrations to give you some inspiration for your beetle drawing today. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna be going through a demonstration of these different body types, heads and legs and wings and other details. If you want to do a different body type or any other these details differently you're welcome to do so of course you are the artist um, your materials you're going to need paper pencil and eraser and some coloring materials later i'm going to be showing you with permanent marker but i recommend if you have pencil to start with that's great if not just use whatever you have at home okay let's start with this first body type and we are going to start with a rectangular shape in the middle, closer to the top, for kind of like a neck area of the beetle. And then we wanna trace an imaginary line down to the bottom from the middle of that rectangle. And we can make a little dot to mark where the bottom of the beetle will appear. Then from the corners of this rectangle, we're gonna draw a curved line that meets up with that dot we just made. Next, let's try body number two. So for the second option, you're going to start with a smile shaped line. And then at the corners of this line, draw two diagonal lines out to the sides of your paper and connect the ends of those with another smile shaped line. Then kind of like I showed you in the first body, we're gonna draw an imaginary line down with our finger towards the middle of the bottom and mark that with a dot. And then from the sides of this one, draw a straight line this time down to that dot. There. Okay, body number three, this option. That one is going to start with a straight line across the top, a horizontal line, and then we're going to make the shape of a capital letter T. So you're gonna draw a straight line down in the middle of that horizontal line. Then at the bottom of this line, we are going to draw a mountain shaped line, like a triangle, and then we're going to connect the sides of it with a curved line down. Okay, and lastly, body number four. That one, we are going to start with an upside down trapezoid shape. So I want you to draw a horizontal line across and then a slightly shorter one for the bottom of the trapezoid and connect with two diagonal lines from the top line down to the bottom. Then we're gonna make a longer 
straight line across a longer horizontal line that is connected to the bottom of the trapezoid we just did. And then let's trace down to the middle again of the bottom, but instead of a dot, you are going to make a shorter horizontal line. And now we are going to connect from this top line down to the bottom with a curved line. And then we're just gonna add two more curved lines inside and they're kind of gonna go from this corner here down to the bottom corner and then from this corner down to the other bottom corner. So I'm doing the one on the left side and now the one on the right side. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to draw these different styles of heads. And what I'm going to do is using the bodies that we just did, I'm going to do a different head on each one. So starting with the first head, the way that we start that one is I draw two circles where the sides of the head are gonna be, and these are gonna make the eyes. Then across the top, I'm gonna draw a curved line that has a little extra hill in the middle. So a little hill right there, kind of like a little nose, and then come back down, and then just connect to the body with two curved lines. And if you can merge it or blend it with this line, it looks like a whole oval shape. And then it has two curly antennas. So I'm gonna come up to the side and curl my line around and around until I run out of room in the middle. Then same thing on the other side. Curve up and then curl around the inside. Okay, let's look at the second head option. This one is similar. We're going to do two circle eyes on the sides, connect down to the body with two curved lines and one smooth curved line across the top. And then the antennas are kind of like what we just did, but not as curly. So they're gonna curl about that much to start, but then we're going to double those lines up. So you're gonna add another line that connects at the end of the antenna to close it together. Okay, now let's work on the third head option you see here. This one is also going to start with two circle eyes on the sides, connect them with a curved line across the top, and then two diagonal lines down to the body. Also, if you wanna make your eyes more detailed or a different way on your beetle, that's totally fine. Um, the antennas, these ones are gonna curve up, but you're gonna continue the line, loop it around the other side and bring it back down. So up, loop around and bring it back down. Okay, and then let's work on the final head right here, this semicircle one. We'll do that on the last beetle. So for that, I already have a straight line here to form the bottom of my semicircle. So all I need to do is draw a rainbow shaped line over the top. And then the eyes on this one are actually inside. So I'm gonna draw them on the sides, but inside of the semicircle. And then the antennas. Again, two curved lines. Now we're gonna add a bunch of little straight lines to make them look like they're fuzzy. Now let's move on to the legs. I'm just gonna show you one pair of each of these, one of the bent ones, the curved and the wiggly, and then I'll show the three styles of wings and some of these patterns. And I'm just gonna do a few legs on the same beetle. A few different ones. So the bent ones in the first example of legs, they kind of look like the shape of a backwards number seven. You make a line going straight down and then diagonally towards the body. And then you're going to double that up. And then there's a little claw on each 
end for the foot. So I draw two lines that curve up on the sides, and then I'm gonna connect them with a smile-shaped line, and it looks like a little claw. This shape is also kind of like a skinny crescent moon. Okay, now let's try the bent legs. Those are gonna curve out, so double it up, and then a little shoe shape on the end. Notice how I'm looking at where I'm putting the leg on each side, so I see it's right where these two lines meet for the top and bottom of the body. I'm gonna try to do it in the same place on this side. And your beetle, it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical, of course, because we are artists and our work is going to just be natural, but um, just try to practice some symmetry in your artwork. Okay, now let's try these wiggly kind of zigzag shaped lines for legs. Those I'm gonna do down here so I can leave some room for wings. I go across, down, across, down, across, down, however many times for however long you want the leg to be. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side first. Across, down, across, down, across, down. And then I'm going to double these up. Now I'm gonna go up the stairs. They look like little stairs. And then you can add any little foot or claw shape to the end. I'm gonna add just a little circle. Let's go through some of these styles of wings, okay? So this first one, I'll do it on here. We've got a big loop shape for the top wing. And then another one that curves, but then it has a double curve on the edge, kind of like a lowercase m. and then back to the body. Okay, let's try this pointy one. I'm gonna do that on a new beetle now. So for those wings, you're gonna have a line that curves out and then one that curves in and they come together to make a point. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. Curve out, curve back in and towards the body. So this middle space doesn't go all the way into the body. And the last wings, all curved like this one here. So I do a larger one on the top, a larger loop and a smaller loop. Larger loop and a smaller loop. All right. Now you're ready to do some patterns and designs on your beetle. So I'm just gonna show a few, not all of them, but I want you to think about, let's say you wanna divide it up and do the same thing on both sides. So for example, if I wanted to do a diagonal line, a double diagonal, I wanna try to mirror that or make it appear the same on the other side. So this side is going to diagonal up the opposite way. Okay, if I did a row of circles, I want to do them on the other side. Now I'm doing a wiggly line and doubling it up. But see, I have two little hills on each side, okay? All right, and then when you're ready, finishing all of your beautiful patterns, you can color your beetles. So I just wanna show you my samples really quick for some ideas. So this one is done with uh, watercolor paint. If you have watercolors at home. This one is colored in with markers, which look really nice. Here is another watercolor example and a crayon example. So I hope you have so much fun designing your beautiful beetles and coloring them in. 
Thank you so much everyone for joining me today. I hope that you had a great time designing your own beetle and practicing symmetry with me in art class. I know that your pictures are going to look amazing and I will see you next time on Miss Merrill Makes. Bye!